Welcome to Ucanic. Today here on Ucanic we have a 2019 Chevy Trax and on this Chevy Trax our check engine light is on and so we're going to check out what that check engine light is. We have our uh, Ucanic UCAN2 scanner hooked up and now we're going to read the codes and see what it is. We're going to pick this GM because it's a GM product. Um, Smart VIN. And then hit yes, it's brought up the information. We're going to do a con pick the control modules because we know we just want to look at the engine control module instead of scanning everything right now. So we're going to do the engine control module and then pick the motor, which is a 1.4 liter. Um, we have an automatic transmission, we have a four wheel drive. It's not equipped with the start stop function, communicating with the vehicle and getting us the codes that are on. Then we, uh, the top one is the one for the D, uh, DTCs, and then we're going to see what they are. And it's saying that our uh, P0443-00 is the evaporative emissions EVAP, the purge solenoid valve control circuit. So we need to take a look at our purge valve and you know, make sure that it looks like it's all there. There are ways to check and to test it but also you can check and test it or replace it and then we can clear that out. Problems that will happen when this purge valve isn't in operation for a long long time is you're going to get a bad fuel economy and your engine will run pretty rough. It also depending on the vehicle status or the vehicle and how long it's been going bad or, or how bad it is you also sometimes when you fill up the tank it might take a lot to start the vehicle so we'll go see where that sensor is and how to replace it all right so the uh, sensor that we're looking for this is on the same intake uh, on the back of your motor the 1.4 liter ecotech and this is the whole sensor unit this is our purge valve solenoid which feeds um, back to your fuel tank, right? We have this connection here that we need to undo to be able to replace it. We unhook the electrical connector and we unhook this right here and then we remove this whole unit and we replace the whole unit as one full unit. So this clamp here, we press down on the one side, you have a tab, you can press down and then you need to pull up on the back side. And then once you pull that up, then you can press it again and pull that apart. Then we have a red safety connect that we need to pull back and then once you do that then you'll be able to reach in here and disconnect the electric connector. With those um, disconnected and out of the way now we can squeeze this clamp here it's uh, pretty uh, stiff to squeeze so was able to squeeze and unhook that and now we'll be able to just slide this unit off and to remove and this is our purge solenoid valve that we have removed. So we take our new purge solenoid valve and be able to run it back under this hose here and you can just press Let's uh, slide this clamp portion over here first. It goes on to that rubber grommet connection. And then clamp that back da down just by pressing and it should lock into place. It's in there. Then we can press this in. Make sure you push the inside of that green tab down to make sure it's securely locked on there. And then the same thing with the electric connection. You line it up, snap it in, and press the safety lock in. And that would be the replacement of our purge valve solenoid. Now we can go clear the codes and be able to um, start and make sure it doesn't come back on immediately. This is a one-way valve, and so there are ways to test it if it is leaking and by uh, being able to run air through it and if the air goes through 
Um, the one way you're good if it doesn't go th if it goes through both directions, then you know it's completely bad. So back here in the vehicle with the the key in the on position but not started. So in the run position, we can now erase the code because we've replaced the part. We are clearing the code. It also rechecks to make sure that there's no codes in there and it says it's all good to go and now we can just go ahead start our vehicle and our check engine light is is now off now of course you will still drive it like you normally do start it a few more times and then drive it like you normally do for a good half a week a week make sure that that doesn't come back on and if it doesn't then that was definitely the fix if it does then you may have to look at further down the line, maybe the actual purge cylinder or the purge case, the vapor canister is what it's called. You may have to look at the vapor canister or maybe the lines that lead to it. Maybe that line has a cut in it somewhere. Thanks for watching Mechanic, or you can be the mechanic.